What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Little Sasakura, the one who never does best, and today bringing you my live reaction to another and the final Dragon Ball Sparking Zero trailer. Now, a couple of things to get out of the way real quick before we get into the reaction. Number one, if I sound a little bit under the weather, it's because I am. I haven't been streaming, uploading the last several days because I've been terribly, terribly sick. I was literally bedridden. I'm feeling better now, which is why I'm here today. And come on, y'all knew I wouldn't go miss this. The other thing is full transparency. Um, leaks are a thing, unfortunately. I didn't go out of my way to really look at or watch any of them, but I have an idea of certain things. Like I know that this roster is way bigger than what we were led to believe up to this point. I mean, the the title of this trailer is super and movies character trailer. So like, I have a general idea. Like I, I know some things, I don't know details. My reaction is still gonna be organic and genuine. I avoided as much as I could for the sake of the content for you guys, but there's a couple of things I already do know. Um, that being said, I don't really know how the trailer unfolds or what characters actually are. I, I know a couple. I, I, I know two that were told, just outright told to me, which was a, t well, I'll, it's fine. We'll, we'll watch, we'll watch. So let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, let's just go ahead and kick things off. And like I said, I apologize for my voice. I was, I, your boy was, yeah, I was. <laughs> anyway, let me take a sip of water. Here I come. I will destroy no, you. I will defeat you. I'm not going to lose. I'm not giving up. But if I win, you it's my boy God Goku. Touch, deal? All right. My goodness, you must be some kind of idiot to face me. Here I am. Yeah. Also, I hope that this uh what this video. Well, I mean, my my sparking trailer reactions have been doing just fine, despite the copyrighted music they've been using. So hopefully, this is no different. No, the unstoppable night of the Frieza Force. He's a Force soldier. Hooray! Everybody's favorite character, Blue Goku, Golden Frieza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, look at the boy looking clean on him, though. Oh, that's the goat right there. That's the goat right there. That boy right there, that's my boy right there. I will be playing every version of Trunks in this game, by the way. You can expect me to be playing every version of Trunks. Also, wait, you know what I just realized? I, they just had uh, Goku and his whiskey, right? When they showed uh, Blue that first time in this trailer. I don't know if we've seen them before. Yo, God of Destruction Topo and Frost. Ribrian, uh, the 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 trio, the dangerous Kava. Yo, say Kava, underrated IMO. I think he's a cool character. I know not everybody really likes him, but I think his fight with Vegeta was mad underrated. Super seventeen, but not that super seventeen. Um, UI Goku, okay, okay, the trailer kind of gas. Hell yeah. It's my boy, Ke oh, Teen Goku, I guess as they're calling him. One of my favorite versions of Goku. Probably my favorite version of Goku that's not Super Saiyan 4. Right, and that's supposed to be every slot. Oh, except for three. Whoa. Looks like there's lots of powerful opponents still out there. Oh? Kakarot! Right, because we hadn't oh, seen Z Broly up to this point. Yeah. Well, that's sick. So it'll be every version of him, right? Try. Super Saiyan. By the way, I think that form of Broly, not that one. I think regular Super Saiyan Broly is so much cooler than legendary Super Saiyan. I always thought that the unique Super Saiyan hair color that he has is really, really dope. I also just think that this form of him, when he's like not super hulking and huge, just looks a lot cooler, just more, you know what I'm saying? Like I, this has always been my favorite version of Broly right here. That being said, DBS Broly, way better movie, way better character. I just like him way more all around. But this used to be my favorite version of Broly, personally. That's just me though. I don't know about y'all. Bad underrated. You never see that one anywhere. <laughs> I used to play that back in Budokai 3, I think it was. It's over now. Drink some more water. Man, I can't believe that people tell me that this game is ugly. I'm not done yet. I won't be defeated. Cooler. My brother. It is I who decides who lives and who dies. In cooler final form. Hey. Well, does metal cooler. Surprise you. You'll never conquer me. Man, whenever I think of the Metal Cooler movie, I just think of the Dragon Ball the Bridge version. Android 13 movie is a really good one. I, I like it vividly because the trunks is rolling that movie. That's just me. Also, speaking of Dragon Ball a uh, Bridge, one of the funniest episodes is the Android 13 one, where 13 punches Goku in the um <clears throat> in, in the Forbidden Region, and then it cuts to like a uh, like a flash forward of Goten in the future, and Goten fades from existence. That should have me cry. Super Garlic Jr. 
I don't know who was capable for Dr. Wheelow, but hey, he's in there. You know what I'm saying? They want everybody in this game where you're getting damn near everybody. Like, but this game's gonna have like 300 characters by the time all the DLC is over, bro. Lord Slug and Giant Lord Slug. And they going through every single movie. Okay, Tireless. Tireless has always been really cool to me. It was Goku Black before Goku Black. Not that they're similar characters at all, but it's just evil Goku, you know? Because Tireless just showed up looking just like Goku. Bojack is really dope as well. The Bojack movie, honestly, one of the best movies in the entire series. Especially the way that that movie ends. That being said, I like this one more. Which means, if you show me Harutagarn, you know who's next. Show me my boy. Show me my boy. You will not spread your evil to this planet. Excuse me. Tapion, one of my favorite characters. Y'all know that. I will be playing Tapion no matter what. I will be playing Tapion. I don't know if he's going to be my main, but I will be playing that character for sure. For sure. I like how they tried to pull the rug out from under us, by the way, making it seem like a lot of these characters were in Super Gogeta. Like a lot of these characters weren't going to be making it into the game. It's a shame that a lot of this got spoiled and leaked and stuff because this would have been such a dope surprise. And if you're somebody who genuinely did not hear about any leaks at all and didn't know, I know that this was crazy for you watching. And it's still pretty dope. It's still pretty fire. Sick. Sick. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, we are, what is it now? Uh, today's the 19th, so we're not even, uh, we're less than three weeks away, I think, from being able to actually play this game at this point, right? Especially if you got the uh, the three days early access. Well, I'm looking forward to it, man. Sparking Zero, and you know, that's honestly another reason why I haven't been uploading as much uh, or streaming anything other than NBA 2K, is because like I'm kind of just in that limbo state. I'm just like really anticipating Sparking Zero, and I just don't really have like the drive or the motivation, like the creative juices flowing, anything like that. Like I just, I'm just really amped for Sparking Zero, and I'm really, I'm really ready to go crazy with the content for this game. But hopefully, it's every bit as fun as I think it's going to be. Uh, and like I just kind of been like in like a lull or like a limbo state right now while I wait in anticipation for that game. Uh, but just know, just know, we going hard when Sparking Zero drops. That being said, though, this trailer was fire. Huh? I want to go back. There's a couple of things I wanted to take note of. Like, uh, was Blue Goku in his whiskey when we saw him? I don't remember where in the trailer it was. Because the whiskey, I don't know about y'all, but the whiskey for uh, Goku MG also attracts you Gohan. I didn't even take note of that before. I think he was shown before. I, it's hard for me to keep track. Yeah, there it was, whiskey. I, I don't know why we ever went away from these costumes. I guess it's a brand recognition thing from Shueisha. I don't know, man. Um, But this, yo. Okay, I didn't realize it was that many frames ahead. Oh my god, Blair Freeze is not real. He can't hurt you. You know, I would have been better off just doing this in pause. This would have been a lot faster. This outfit for Goku, one of his best outfits and infinitely better than his actual traditional like garb that he normally wears. Same thing goes for Vegeta, the black suit. It's really gray, but everyone calls it the black suit or maybe it's meant to be black, but it just looks gray um, in anime. It might be Vegeta's best outfit, not going to lie. Uh, so if you see me playing one of these versions of Goku, I'm definitely going to be rocking that if possible. Same thing goes for Vegeta. Um, yeah. Also, sorry, I've been like fighting back this like tickle I got right now, like this desire to like cough really hard. Um, also, this amount of talking is more than I've been doing the last several days. Uh, there was something else I wanted to take a look at. <laughs> also, UI sign is way cooler than all the Master Ultra Instinct. I'm going to just say it. I'm going to just go ahead and say it. There was something. I, I forgot what it was. I'm trying to refresh my memory by seeing it. Also, we, we we're getting Kid Goku. Um. Okay, so the other character that was told to me. Well, no, because it. Hmm, never mind. Uh, We're getting Kid Goku. But. None of the other like OG Dragon Ball characters. So there's like no Kid Krillin or like Tao Pai Pai or like Dragon Ball versions of like Yamcha and Tien or like Nam or um, what's Shorty's name from the tournament? Uh, Ran Fan, I believe was her name or like Giran or Bacterian, which most of these like 80% of those characters are just named. I really don't care about at all, but just worth noting. I don't really know if those would be desirable at all as DLC either. So a lot of those characters probably will just not ever make it to the game, uh, which I don't think too many people would be too upset about that. 
also just get, throw, uh, bring me back to Budokai 3. I put everything I've got to this move. If you know, you know how I can't work at that shit. Also, you know shit is serious when a nigga turn to sketch lines. And yeah, there was something else in here that I wanted to point out and talk about, but I, it's escaped me now. So there's no need to stretch out the video any further. Let me, uh, well, let me at least get to the end of the trailer. Okay, so wait, I was on the Bandai Namco Entertainment America channel because it was the first one that, that popped up uh, for me, like when I opened up YouTube. But here on just like the regular Bandai Namco channel, there's a different video that just says full roster reveal, which would have been better for avoiding spoilers and stuff. It's 11 minutes long. It looks like the first half of this video is the producer of Sparking Zero going into detail a little bit about the game. So let's go ahead and watch that because I don't know what information is in here, but it's more than what the trailer uh, for just the characters gave us. He talked a little bit before and after. Also, let me move my camera out of the way. We can go ahead and uh, watch this together. So today is our final pre-launch announcement. We'd like to talk about two key points, the details of the game modes and the playable characters. First, let's talk about one of the game modes, Episode Battle, which I assume is Story Mode. In this single-player mode, you can take the point of view of eight different characters and enjoy famous battles from the anime. So it's going to be kind of similar to like Budokai 3, which we already saw in some instances, but yeah. The story battles follow Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, Piccolo, Future Trunks, Frieza, Goku Black, and Jiren. Hell yeah, getting to play as Future Trunks. Goku Black and Jiren being options as well is really, really cool. It's not like Budokai 3 where you could play as damn near the whole roster in a story mode and you can just do their stuff, but it's still really cool. This is limited to fights on 200 power. Yeah, that makes sense. It was the same way in Budokai 3. On the other hand, Goku, who has the most volume, begins with his battle against Raditz and Dragon Ball Z and extends through the tournament of Power Saga and Dragon Ball Super. Going from... Yo, for, is there a single game where you go from Raditz all the way to the tournament of power? I guess Xenoverse probably does at this point through DLC and stuff. Uh, I don't know if Kakarot does, but like getting a game at launch to just go from, because obviously, you know, Super's only been around for so long. So obviously older games can do it. But like we've done Raditz to Boo, Raditz to Boo, Raditz to Boo so many times. And I've never really gotten tired of playing through that in, in, in the story mode of Dragon Ball games. But going from Raditz all the way, only thing that can make this even better is if I could go from Kid Goku meeting Bulma all the way to the Tournament of Power. For me personally, excuse me, for me personally, that would be so fire. That's just me though. Besides the battles following the original scenario, we also encourage you to look for all the different routes and hidden scenes on certain stages to immerse yourself in the arcs of each character. Next, let me explain about the custom battle. Custom battle is going to provide content for generations, bro. Players can create the original scenes, play, and share their creations. I think this will be really fun to have like viewers create custom battles and then I take on the challenge. It consists of the battle title, the battle itself, and post battle cutscenes. Yo, chat, is Sparking Zero the game of the life? Thoughts? Over 30 battles with various original situations and victory conditions. We'll probably be playing through every single one of these. Some of these battles include special gimmicks and are highly challenging. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. On the other hand, edit mode allows you to freely set up original battles by customizing playable characters, pre and post battle cutscenes, as well as events that occurred during the battle. This is insane. This level of like creativity is... I don't think we've ever seen anything like this in a Dragon Ball game. Or any game that I can really think of for that matter, especially when it comes to anime games. They, they, this game is really looking like it's a huge cut above the rest in terms of anime games we've gotten for like the last decade. As for the settings with a single cut, you can set the character's position, pose, expression, and effects. You can also set subtitles for the speaker, camera work, background music, and screen effects such as monochrome or sepia. That looks kind of fire. Over 5,000 base texts are available. Holy shit. Please combine this to create the situation you envision. See, I'm not a super creative person. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. I'm not super creative. 
So the stuff I come up with probably isn't going to be that cool. Um, but the stuff you guys come up with out there on YouTube or in the comments or on Twitter, I know it's going to be heat. So I can't wait to see what the community cooks up and then take it on for myself. Like, I think that's going to be really, really cool and a lot of fun. So that, so that if your HP drops below 30%, you automatically enter sparking mode. I see. You can deadass create your own story mode, bro. Like your own alternate universe story mode. Yo, the, the, the fan fiction crowd, the, the OCs, everybody, like they about to go crazy with this. ぜひ皆様の思い描くシチュエーションのバトルを披露し合って楽しんでください。you could create Dragon Ball's universe inside of inside of Sparking Zero. Like to introduce some new playable characters, right? And then so this is just gonna be the uh, the trailer, right? And he talks a little bit more after it. So let's just jump ahead because we already watched this, of course. Fire trailer, insane roster. 181, 182 characters, I believe it was. Actual roster is 182. Yeah, that's nuts. In addition to characters from Super Saga that were just revealed, Goku team and even characters from the movies will also be implemented in the main game as playable characters. So my question to you guys is, now that we have the official final roster completely uh, revealed, what is the one character that's not already in the game that you want the most? For me, if we're going like unrealistic, like it can be anybody, it would probably be Granola. Granola would be the character I would want to see the most. Um, I'm not so sure he will end up in the game because I don't know if they're going to do the manga stuff. But if I could pick anybody, it would be him. Somebody who's more realistic. Uh, I don't know. I do think it's really weird and kind of a shame that Super 17 is not in the game uh, from GT. Uh, I know I've seen a decent amount of people kind of like upset about that. I don't think it's worth like getting upset about, but yeah, if you, if you could pick one character, and I'll, I'll have to think a little bit more about my answer. One character who's not currently in the game to add to it, who would you pick? There's a number of characters is one of the most important elements in this series. Oh boy, don't you know it. We have dedicated efforts since, oh, how did that one go by so fast? We have dedicated efforts since early stages of development in order to implement a significantly large number of playable characters dead in previous entries. Yeah, I see. Hope you enjoy various battles with this roster, exploring and utilizing each character's unique traits and abilities. Last but not least, there is another character that we kept secret until now. A pre-order bonus playable character, this was the one that was told to me that I didn't talk about. Right, the playable character Dragon Ball Daima. Um, Dragon Ball Daima Goku, that is. This was, I, I kind of alluded to it earlier, but it, they didn't show it or I didn't see it, and I was like, let me not spoil it for people. Um, but the two characters that were just straight up told to me were uh, Daima Goku as the pre-order playable character and Tapion because people know I really like Tapion. Um, yeah, so we're going to have two different kid Gokus. I wonder who's going to be smaller between Daima Goku and Goku Teen as they call them. Character gameplay will be unveiled at a later date, so please wait for further information. Well, it can't be too much later. The game about to release in less than three weeks. Oh, so we're getting another 20 playable characters in the first season of this game. So this game's going to have over 200 characters after season one. That's insane, bro. That's, that's so insane to me. Oh, so how many of you guys have actually pre-ordered the, uh, the, 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 the Delectors, col uh, the Collectors Deluxe, whatever? Big expensive version of this game. Nice, nice. October 7th, boys. We in there. Like swimwear. But that is it. That is actually the end of the video. So, with that being said, uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hit this video with a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. So, you can stay tuned for all the awesome content that I'm bringing you. With all the being said, that's pretty much all I have today. Remember, nothing could happen until you swing the bat. Later.